and welcome to the Commentary Zone. As we enter the room, please don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and tell a friend. All right, so on the docket today, we have Seeking Sister Wife, uh, Season 5, Episode 6, Seeking Commitment. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> I mean, this was just interesting, to say the least. <laughs> okay, so um, I just can't help but giggle at this show. It's just so off-putting. Um, but, you know, we, we'll just go with it. Do you want to start with the... Um, uh Salahuddin family of course they, they give us the least every episode yeah yeah I think that they had a storyline but it fell apart once Keisha found out she was gonna be on the people tv right <laughs> I agree the same thing is the same similar to like what the Sherwoods no uh or the Ryan oh, okay. it's the, the Ryan's. Ryan's thank you yeah it's the Ryan's it's the okay, drive thank up you. yeah um, okay, so let's start with them. This is Nyla and Naeem. Nyla's the lady, Naeem is the is the husband. Um basically, we all know from last week, Keisha bailed, decided not to come from Georgia to where they're at. I can't remember what city they're in, but anyway, she decided not to come. Um, and so they went and had dinner. I guess they they should have stayed at the hotel that they had booked for her if they couldn't get their money back. Um, mm -hmm. But then they invite the mom over, his mom, Jamila. They didn't bother to tell her, one, that this was supposed to be the big meeting, but two, that she bailed. And mama, mama wasn't having it. And my whole thing is this. With, with with the the peoples, why do you keep trying to force this lifestyle on your mama? She wants nothing to do with it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Like leave it be. Quit trying to force this on her. But we well, I appreciate when Miss Jamila shows up because Miss Jamila picks away at what this really is. Because remember, this isn't based on religion. This is just about making Naeem be the best that he can be. And in my head, that is, <laughs> Nyla, you know your husband cheats. And I feel Thank like you. you want control over oh, the che cheating. Thing. You want to be the moderator. You want to be the moderator. But a man who cheats on his wife blatantly, whether it's behind her back or in front of her face with her permission, like it is in this instance, you're not going to be able to control that. You're not. Because um, Jamila is like, you're not doing polygamy um, the right way. Because in polygamy, you're supposed to provide a separate but equal house for the second or third or fourth wife. And he can, he takes, he gets a little bristly about that. He's like, we ain't doing it that way. And Nyla is like, you don't have to do it that way. And Jamila is firm. Yes, you do. Now, remember I told you, I know of someone who has three wives and they are right. Muslims. And each and every one of them have separate but equal homes in two different countries. So, so when they travel it, between, they're able right. to, to accommodate. But my whole thing, the way I understood plural, so I'm going to say, I won't say polygamy, I'm going to say plural marriage, because that's the way I know it. The way it was explained to me by someone who's um, in the faith that, yes, what should happen is like for every wife you take, you have the first wife, you have your home with her, right? If you decide to take a second wife, you're supposed, like you said, having a, an equal home for them as well. But like, that's it's not... based on that particular religion. When yeah. we look at the Browns, it's different. They like that one house the communal, kind of strategy. Yes. Right. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, the religious base, I, I just thought with Muslims, it was like a how each wife got a house. Mm-hmm. The, the, but you the, also, the, as the man, have to provide... Provide equal. 
and you have to go to the the iman the priest and show that you can do it for a second person um financially you have to show that you can do this and i'm just like what have we seen from nyla and naeem that they can afford this like well it's it's different times um i guess she would have to pull her own weight in their household kind of like the the davises i don't know it's it's just so far away like this isn't expanding a family this is just expanding his underwear Not, not expanding the underwear. But he doesn't... Uh, and the, the future episodes prove that. Yes. Because the, um, the little girl replacement that they bring in, who's still going through a serious acne phase and a twisted wig, um, I always find that Nyla is very late in laying down parameters. And when she does, the horse is already out of the barn. Like he's already got a woody and he's already, you know, massaging the knee under the table and like ready to go. Like he has, he doesn't listen to anything that Nyla says. No. But that's coming up. That should be interesting. Anyway, I, Thank God there his mom is there because if it wasn't for Jamila, they, they, they have didn't nothing. Have anything. Yeah. No. All right. So let's say hi to everybody that's in the chat. Hi, Susan. Um, hi, Tracy. Oh, hi, Sunway. Hi, Lisa. How's your men lounging with Lisa? Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm finally, I can catch a live. We'll be commanding, but we'll be here. I love you too. Thank you so much, Lisa. Hi, Mange. Hi, Farmada. Happy happy Thursday. I haven't seen the latest episode yet, but here for the recap. Okay, so this one, we can give you a little grace. Um, but the next episodes that are coming up hopefully seem to be a lot better. So right. Finally don't get miss to the real those. mess. Well, as if we weren't in Mess Central right now. Um, ain't this, this is uh, mild. Jeans broke? Well, well, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen any evidence of um, mediocrity yet. So they probably just about as broke as me. Just saying. Uh, uh, let's see, Jamal. Oh, why isn't this going? Jamal, you look good. I can see your hard work is paying off. The, green's all, the green also suits you. Yes. Oh, Sarf2 also told me to tell you that it's coming together. Like the face is <laughs> facing. Oh, thank Everything you. Everything is looking fabulous. And that oh, um, she's you, real Sarf. proud of you. Thank mm -hmm. you, Farmada. Um, all of these international kudos to, to Jamal. Like I went for a walk today and I was real proud of myself. Um, so thanks, Jamal, for wiping that clean off of the board. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just I'm just saying a, a walk here and there is good. Get out, do a little something. I don't know. I, I was on the phone with, with Sarf and and I was like, you know what? Let me just go for a walk. It wasn't too hot yet because today's gonna right. be up in the 90s. See. So I went early and the breeze was blowing. There was, there was like only people walking their dogs out. And I walked around the block and came back. And I was like, oh, I need to do this more often. Hmm. We'll see. Were you walking and talking? Yeah. See, that's why. When you walk and talk, you, you, you look up, you're like, oh, how did I get this far? Well, that's the thing. I thought I was walking for 10 minutes, but it was like about 30. I'm yeah, because like, you're talking. what happened? <laughs> yeah. And, and I was also notice. very angry at a couple of things, so. Oh, yeah, mm. even more so. <laughs> Rage walking. Yes, yes. Farmada, he doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. He likes it. He blushed. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, hi, Ryan. Um, okay. All righty. So anything else to comment on uh, the Salahuddin's? I think with, with this couple, I think this is our filler mm -hmm. couple of the season. We always get one. Mm -hmm. And this, these are them because there are uh, the other couples. I really feel we can, we can get more out of them because the Salahu, mm -hmm. Salahuddin's, I don't really think about them. Mm -hmm. Like when I watch the show and they come on, it's not that I tune out. It's more like we know your storyline is the mom because the mom is pretty much in, is in every scene with them, which tells me, they, like you said, they didn't have much to work with. The mom is likable. Um, the husband, um, Naeem, is not likable to me. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like the, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up when, when he talks that car scene with him trying to contain his anger was off-putting to me and because Nyla is trying to control a cheating husband instead of contacting 1-800-DIVORCE attorney she's not likable to me either like what are you staying with that for right like you just giving him the green light to cheat on you but he just since you know about it you gonna say it's okay and then come up with something better than making him feel good about himself. That and oh, Debbie, does this make sense to you? So basically, what she's doing is she's giving him permission to cheat, right? Because mm -hmm. we don't call it thing anything. She's giving permission to cheat. She wants to moderate cheating, right? Mm -hmm. Like she wants to mm -hmm. um, do the picking, mm -hmm. but then you want to regulate his cheating. Mm -hmm. You want him to cheat in stages. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Nyla had her way, she would be there to help him put his penis into the the no no bits, his pee pee into the no no bits. I think she would help facilitate that as well. Tracy asks, "Is the mom Muslim too?" I'm kind of surprised she's so against this. She is Muslim, but that doesn't mean that she is for that part of the Quran. Right. Um, just because you're Muslim doesn't mean that you're buying into that kind of relationship. Um, cause don't forget, remember on, um, 90 day, the, the gal from Trinidad who yes. came up, right? So they're Muslim too, but they're only husband and wife. They don't do the rest of it. Um, I don't think many people do that part anymore right. like the people that i know are way older than me and well never mind, i'm not getting into that um but yeah they're way older than me i think their kids are like my age or older yeah because that was my boyfriend's uncle yeah they're probably older than me <laughs> yeah um, yeah, so um, Tracy says he just wants some young thing and permission to cheat. In my opinion, I don't see him. I don't see him follow. Yeah, yeah. Um, the preview for next week looks hilarious. It does. Yes, it does. But I don't think all of that is next week. I no, think no. that's for the rest of the season. The season, yeah. It's still, mm -hmm. still to come on this season. That's fine. Mm hmm. All right, so the rest of the crew that we saw was the Sherwoods, the Merrifields, and the Ryans. Who do you want to do next? Mm. The, oh, we have the Ryans, the Merrifields, and the Sherwoods. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all, they're all kind of interesting. Who, who's the least interesting? It's so hard to choose. Oh, uh the was it the ryan not the, the ryans are the ones who drove right mm -hmm. okay so we can save them garrick and see there, no I we gotta choose. save garrick this is how we gonna do it i'm gonna choose okay. for you yeah you, you gonna gonna do, two, i can't pick i can't pick we gonna do the sherwoods okay. and the ryans okay then the maryfield but you you see my dilemma right they're all just a mess no, but just different levels. Right. <laughs> go, go. We're going to call okay. Debbie. All right. So we got the Sherwoods now. They set up a date with Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah shows up to the mini golf, indoor gaming facility, whatever. Right. 
Why was she flirting hard with Shane? She was having, she was having a good time. She really wants Shane. She wants to turn this into a couple things, meaning Sarah. Sarah wants to turn this into a couple things. But what I did notice in this, after, like, when they were playing golf, the girls were real giggly and annoying. Um, Shane was watching, though. When they went to sit down and eat their food, Shane started drilling down just like how he did with, with um, Grace, but even more so. This mm -hmm. girl, Sarah, is very light on her feet and has a really good comeback for everything. Like when he asked about kids, she was like, buy me dinner first. When he asked about her previous plural relationships and he was like, that's a red flag for me because you doing... Um, friends with benefit and do you understand what we're looking for no what's your wife looking for right. and um and she's like but you asked me about my past relationships you didn't ask me what i'm looking forward into a future relationship i like her she got mouth she's quick-witted right. and she thinks well on her feet i like that however Shane what came is Danielle. To me, Shane is Danielle yes. season one. Yes. And no matter if they brought a genie in a bottle, Shane will always have red flags because of his base insecurity of this female taking his wife away from him. But Shane, you don't need to worry about that because Ashley's already left you. She's had the two kids that she contracted you for a built-in babysitter. Thanks, Shane. And she doesn't even have to pay $25 an hour via care.com for you to take care of the two little rugrats. And she's going to go out bumping uglies and scissoring and slicing with all of the females while you stuck at home babysitting her children. Your wife is a lesbian, just like that other girlfriend from college. You need to fix your picker and your pecker and find monogam like seriously straight monogamous women to stay with you because you consistently find lesbians to get into relationships with. And if I've offended anyone, I am truly sorry, but this is how I'm seeing this couple. But we've said from the beginning with this couple that she's definitely looking for a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Like we, she's kind of made, to me, she's made no bones about it. And when he gets upset, I am since I not sensitive. I am cognizant of his feelings. I am, but sir, like Nyla, you're allowing this, so you don't get to be mad. But is he really allowing it? Yes. Not when he's sabotaging it. But to even, okay, so you basically he's letting her go along with this farce of. You mm -hmm. gonna find somebody because he really wants to keep her, and this isn't it's about like, her honestly, like cheating. This is about no. her acknowledging her true self. Mm. He knows that his marriage is not for real; it's crumbling, and he's trying to hold it together with spit and bubblegum. Mm, true, and he doesn't have what she's truly attracted to. He he's not fighting against another man. He's fighting no. against a woman. Different yeah. different parts. Different it's different, component different parts. It's different, yeah, different different ammunition. different emotional needs. Like, mm -mm. but good job being a dad. And and another thing that's coming over as really irritating to me is that she's doing all of this while in her third trimester of pregnancy. Like, girl, you can wait. Okay. So, so I'm going to jump on Debbie's conspiracy train. Mm -hmm. I hate to say this. Shane, if you watch this, I feel bad for you. Nobody's Debbie. watching this. <laughs> but I believe she's doing this in her third trimester. Mm -hmm. this, is her, this is her exit plan. She's getting everything in place to leave him. She's going to have the, the new girlfriend, you know... She's she basically what's what she's doing is she's making sure she has someone emotionally to be there for her when she divorces him. That's how I see it. Wow. That's how I see it. 
because she's going to need the emotional support of someone. Also, she will need someone to take care of her while she's like recovering from surgery. What surgery? She knows she, well, sir, t- I, I see pregnancy as surgery. Sorry. You know, oh. after when, when she delivers the baby, she's going to need someone to be there to help take care of her. And she don't want it to be shamed because she ain't going to have to watch the other baby. And she's she's it's like she's putting like she's getting her ducks in a row. And he's not even understanding that. See, I would need more evidence for the divorce. Here's why: because yes. she's got the best of both worlds right now. Mm-hmm. She's got her children that she definitely wants. Right. She's got. The built-in babysitter, the sperm donor. Hey, Shane. Um, but then she's also got what she's always wanted. Sarah right. or whoever fits in that slot after Sarah. Right. But we also have to look at the fact that once that baby comes, that's less time for Shane. And he's going to feel some sort of way. And she knows this. You know, it's his child. She's going to be more emotionally invested in that child. So because Shane's not, she's Shane's not really getting all that much anyway. So when you're when you're arguing a little, having having a child come in is going to take that much more. That's which is why I, I I just I just see some sort of plan in place. That's all. I I don't think that she's that into the kids. I think she wants to have them, but do I think mm-hmm. that she's into all of the kids' things? No, I think that's Shane's oh. role. I think that's Shane's mm-hmm. role, and especially now since she's held back this bisexual urge that she's had, I think she's gonna run buck wild once she has a second child. She's mm-hmm. making up for lost time that she spent True. with Shane. Mm. I can see and it. once once the six week period after giving birth, you know, the doctor says, you know, your Pikachu is good and it's ready for drilling again. Um, let's get to fingering. I, I'm sorry, but she's going to be like, Shane, are you good with the kids tonight? Do you need to call your friend over? Because um, I'm going out with so and so. I can see I'll, that. I'll, I'll be back in the morning for breakfast. She'll take two eggs, scramble with some bacon. I understand. I got you. You know, um, I think that she's telling him that it's a sister wife so that she could eventually have her in-house so she won't have to pay for a hotel or go over to somebody else's house. She can get, you know, her fluffernutter buttered while she's at home. But that's eventually. I I think she wants to run the streets first because she's right. She's missed out on something in her head. I don't know. But I don't like that they've lied to us, telling us that oh, this person has to have babies with Shane. Bump that you are in possession of the puss, and you are not giving it up to Shane. I'm just sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So let's see what y'all are saying about this couple. Um, uh, Shane has a type. Um, so does Ashley, apparently. <laughs> um, he's not going to like anyone. He isn't. He isn't no. because he is scared that every single woman that comes in there is taking his wife away from him when he's not looking at the real picture. Your wife already left you. Right. But like you, like you said, he's worried about the women taking um, her away, which mm-hmm. tells me you already know what your wife wants. Yeah. Your wife so, is already gone. You just haven't gone. accepted it. Um, all that giggling was annoy- annoying. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Exactly. Tracy, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Rodney, um, Shane will be the bottom. Everything. Oops. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, Shane, you did it to yourself. Uh, the Ryans are next. Um, yes. Hold on. This. Oof. 
Oof, oof, oof. Okay. They made a 12 hour journey from Texas to Colorado. They, um, they, it's raining when they pull up at this lady's house, Stephanie, who was in some sort of relationship with Justin for like about nine months on and off. I don't know how long they've been together. I just don't. The story changes every time. Anyway, True. apparently yesterday, Stephanie called and, and told Justin and well told Justin that she loved him. Come and see her. And then she said no. But Becky and Justin said we go in anyway because we need to figure out what's going on. She's not blowing us off anymore. She's mm -hmm. got to do what we say. Like a lot of cultish talk. And um, Becky was real agitated in that car. Well, Becky rolled up in the rain with Justin outside of that woman's house, uninvited, and she got what she deserved. Because Stephanie opened the door and said, what you doing here? Becky was like, we told you we was coming. And Stephanie said, I told you not to come. And Becky said, you're not going to be treating us like this no more because I'm desperate and so is my husband. And you said we could come. You told him that you loved him yesterday. And Stephanie said, well, that was yesterday and this is today. And I have chosen Greg and Greg is in the house. Stephanie's like, I mean, Becky's like, wait, is Greg listening to me? And Stephanie said, no, but you better listen to me and get the fuck off of my front porch because mm -hmm. I'm not doing nothing with y'all. We could be friends, but that's it. And then Becky's like, wait, so we're, are you sleeping with Greg? She goes, that's, Stephanie said, that's none of your business. And so then Becky's like, were you, were, were you sleeping with Greg when nine months ago in January Why? when you were with Justin? She goes, that's none of your business. She goes, yes, it is because I need to go and get tested. Who's raw dogging? Who's raw dogging people? <laughs> Justin is. Justin is raw dogging these randoms that he's picking up with Becky's assistants who are very flighty and are just using them for money and a quick shag. Becky comes back to the car. Justin's like, that didn't look like it went well. What happened? She goes, I think that Stephanie should tell you herself while she's on her phone texting somebody, probably Becky, calling her all types of bitches. Right. And they drive. They go, well, I guess we have to get a hotel. Didn't y'all asses have a hotel? Y'all was expecting to stay with Stephanie? Come on now. So they go to the hotel and Becky tells him everything and he goes oh no let's rest tonight and then go home and pray for the shambles that 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 our family is in what that was self-inflicted in my opinion because yeah, the first time that she ghosted you you should have let her be gone exactly stop investing in stuff that ain't investing in you are you that whipped over one session of like semi-decent head come on now becky pick up your game pick up your game start making him want to stay home i don't know but she says something really funny in the car she's like i need someone what do you need are you planning to go down on stephanie too like there's a lot of like who is the extra woman for? Is it for your husband or for you, my darling? Who is it for? Oh, my God. Um, all right. So what do you think about these two? The First of all, y'all drove over to that woman's house. She told you not to come. She Okay. She said she invited you and then she disinvited you. Probably because uh, Craig or Greg, what his name is, called her and said, babes, mm -hmm. I'm coming through. That's why she dumped y'all again. Mm. So my thing is you shouldn't, you just shouldn't have gone. Cause had you not gone, you would have not known he was there. So yep. you kind of did that to yourself. You drove 12 hours to be embarrassed. 
<laughs> like y'all could be embarrassed over text. I mean, true. But no, but no, you drove twelve hours. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Hold on. Sorry, I'm sending okay. something to a friend of mine. Um. So he's, a, he's a total D bad talking about 20 year old someone go kick Greg's ass. Man, get out of here. Agreed. Ryan says, Why can't just fight his own battle? He's supposed to be so in love with Stephanie. Then man up. My thing is this I agree. Why didn't he? Maybe it would have been too aggressive given Becky's stance at the time. But why didn't he get off the car and go talk to Stephanie? Because Becky is his enforcer and he's a douchebag. I think someone not the, said not the enforcer. <laughs> yeah, not she's the his thug. She's his thug. She's the recruiter. She's the thug. She's the, the director of finance. All of that. But she's a thug at heart based on where her people come from. Hold on. Right. And then Ryan says, this was so weird. That's this was so weird. Then Becky couldn't tell him what Stephanie said. Let her tell you herself. But why exactly? She dumped you off for Greg again. Mm-hmm. And then him saying, like, you know, I just put in the back of my mind that she could have possibly been sleeping with Greg. How? How did you put that in the back of your mind? But you you're so in love with her. Next. He Mm -mm. seems desperate and pathetic to me. Mm -hmm. Again, this is why you don't grow up to people's houses. Because you find stuff that you wouldn't have seen had you stayed at home. Mm Mm-hmm. I I don't know. This this couple is very creepy. Very creepy. Uh, Thank you, Sunway. The Ryans are creepy. Um... I wonder if when she said, I need someone too, does she want like a, f- like a friend? Like, right. it seems like they don't have any friends. Right. So does she want a friend who will fuck a husband on the side? <laughs> oh, God. oh, you put it that way. It just sounds so messy. I- is that what I'm trying to figure out in my head? Is this more for her or is this more for him? For me, based on what I'm seeing, is more for her because she seems to be way more invested. Because she's like, if you if you really look at the energy output, it's 90-10. She's doing all the work. Yeah. You know and what I mean? All he's doing is putting on lip gloss. Right. They need someone Rodney. in the basement. What? No, they'll get arrested for that. Let's they, let's they call them the basement apartment. Uh huh. With locks on the exterior side of the door. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. Um, they're just weird, and I think like we're missing a lot of the. We're missing a lot of what's going on, to be quite right. honest. Um, I have a question I, for you. Hmm. With these two, mm-hmm. do you find when you're watching their story that there's gaps? For some reason, when I watch this couple, unlike mm-hmm. the other ones, I really feel like we're missing parts of the conversation. Like there's holes. Like Oh, they straight up lying. Sense. Because okay. Ryan ain't even their last name. This is okay. Justin's middle name. Oh, okay. His name is Ryan Justin something else at the end for a legal last name. So they're straight up lying to us. That's why there's that so much sense. hope. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you for that. Hey, Sarf, we was talking about you earlier. Um. So yeah, that they're creepy. They are aggressive. Um, they're underhanded and they're liars. Great combination for TLC. Mm, Okay, so next up, let's go to these douchebags. Last but not least, Danny and Gaddick. (laughs) We're still in Cancun. And, um, 
It's the day after he gets busted with 10 dating apps by Natalie, Natalia, sorry, mm -hmm. or whatever. And, um, God, anyhow, they're all back to normal. Cruising out to food again. Um, she, uh, Danny is all on board and right? decides that we're going to go ahead. It just seems like a mad dash rush. And I'm like, what are we rushing for? Um, but anyway, Danny pulls um, Natalia out to the, the pool deck and gives her the ugliest necklace in the world. I don't know if it looked like two like bumping uglies, uh, a, a, a hourglass, a, like um, one of those evil eyes. It was just ridiculous. But hold on, okay. Tell me, uh, tell me, you know the the severe she's giving us whiplash because remember she was she was on her sabotage grind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And now she's all aboard. After after she aired Garrick out about the dating apps, now she's on board. Right, but she's also <laughs> realized a power shift. You heard her when they caught him on the the getting caught on the with the apps was supposed to make Natalia break up with him, but it didn't. Natalia mm -hmm. caught on to it, and she's realizing that Natalia is smarter than Roberta. So the same right. old tricks ain't going to apply. She's going to need to to go back and get, like, you know, a graduate degree in how to outsmart my husband from getting more wives. So she has decided, okay, there's nothing I can do about this. He can't legally marry her right now. But we can de we can derail this, but just from back at the state. So we need to get back to the state. So let's pretend that you know I'm all good with this. Let's Wait suppress so my are, feelings. Are you, saying, are you saying Danielle then changed course? She's okay. She did change course, but she, she also course. applied a new tactic because she wanted to see if Natalia was down like how Roberta was. Mm -hmm. She get that bitch her necklace and then try to sample what Garrett yeah. getting first. Right. Because look at this. Look at this. She go in for right. the lip on lip. The lip she on lip, up. people. She going in. She going to try. She testing this girl out. She testing this girl out. But Natalia saying no. No. Not on the lips. Not yet. Yet. <laughs> but this confirms that I think Danny has something going on with Roberta too. That's why she was so plum hurt. That's why she was so plum hurt when Roberta broke it off with her. That also explains why her and Roberta were sharing the same bedroom. So, and remember, Danny said it's so that she would have, when they get more wives, she would have someone in the bedroom with her right. to do what? So while your <laughs> husband <laughs> drilling down on somebody else, you getting fingered by another wife? She don't know. She didn't want to be lonely. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I can only tell you what she said. She's like, you know. I'm telling you how I'm receiving it. I know, I know. I'm just saying, she said, you know, and Gary's like, you know, when we get more wives, you know, the room is for sister. That way, like, you know, when I'm, you know, doing my do with old girl over here, you won't be by yourself. Mm hmm. That's what that I'll was, be yeah. Entertained because if you're no longer giving me the D, I'm going to need to play with someone's P. And I have That's a question. What that is. Garrick, mm -hmm. I need to know, does God only talk to you about wives and family? What else does God talk to you about? Because every time we hear you about you talking to God, it's all about you getting more puss, as Debbie would say. Like, that's all God talks to you about. It is. It's not like, don't be, um, um, what is it? 
be kind to your fellow man. Right. Forgiveness is divine. Turn the other cheek, but not for you to spank. You know, I don't know. What like did you go back to the Garden of Eden and get stuck in that area where they was naked? I don't know. I don't know. I don't read the Bible, so I can't tell you verse nothing. Uh, the only thing I could tell you is my mom's favorite, and I don't think it's from the Bible. It's from the Testament. Think about all the seasons they've been on. Every time God talks to them, it's all about him getting more puss, as you would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to need something else. That I'm going to need you to give me something else. It's gross. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else, though. <laughs> what? Because in his head, he's really trying to, to rationalize the nastiness that he's doing. The nastiness. And this is why Danielle is just as bad. Because she keeps on spurring him on into this. Yes. As a way of getting rid of people that that he likes, it's just very weird. But anyway, let's just go on with this debacle. He says that you know Natalia likes simple rings, so he creates. I swear, both the necklace and the ring, sterling silver garnets and white sapphires, the cheapest of the cheap. But remember what his brother said, though. Don't be spending my money. That's, that's, it's not exactly what the brother said, but we we, under, we we read between the lines for him. We understand. They get this girl up to the rooftop. She thinks that they're going to a restaurant. But little do they know, the wife is behind the sliding glass door. Dan right? is peeping at them. Yes. And he's like, no, no restaurant. I ain't spending no more money on you until I get some of the puss. And he proposes to her. She says, Sim, and I meant to do the translator. Somebody look up Google Translate to see if Sim mean yes in Portuguese. He proposes, this bitch want to know, did she say yes? And look how this girl's mama is looking yes. at her like, means, girl, yes. what? It means yes. Good. And so they start kissing. He's so happy. He's got a, a tent in his pants. He got her 11 roses and she's the 12th. His sweet rose is now complete. She said, yes, they are toasting. And they are now a threesome, or at least Danny's looking at her like, yeah, girl, you gonna flick it and lick it as soon as you get up to the States. Yes, I'm not gonna be alone in a loveless marriage anymore. So we then find out that it's their last night in Mexico. No wonder the bum rush was on, no wonder. And this fool in the middle, Danny, is so busy trying to be a cock blocker, preventing her husband from diving into the puss that he just bought and paid for. Oh, my God. I was so irritated by this scene because, you know, she got PS, uh, TD from the last time that she went to change mm-hmm. her outfit and came back and he had sex with Roberta within 2.2 seconds. So I don't know. Um, at least she knows what was happening, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Natalia says, Oh, I'm on my period and I can't do it, or let's just cuddle. Cause I heard somebody say something about cuddling. Anyway, I thought it was thoroughly disgusting. But what did I say? Danny feeling out the terrain. Should they pulling back in the coming episodes? They going back home to Colorado. She's getting that master's degree, adding all the apps back and bringing in reinforcements from Michigan. A Muslim girl who know about the plural lifestyle. I who who going to be down and ready to go. I hollered when I saw that. I was like, y'all you got back and y'all. Ain't ready. <laughs> Yep, that is 
Okay, so that is these these fools. But see, but see, the, but the problem with Rob, Rob uh, the problem with this for Danielle is like you, how are you gonna call Jarek out, but then have him put the abs back on? I'm just saying. Because because of how Natalia reacted to the apps while they were mm. in Cancun, she realized that that was a soft spot, just like Roberta. But whereas I got you. Roberta did not want to have another person, period, Natalia said, wait till I come up and get accustomed to our lifestyle. Then we could get the apps again and get the rest of your wives. It's all it, it's a bone of contention. It's I got you. Different, you know, red line. But the same shit can work for Natalia because they didn't wait for her. Right. I got I got I, I understand now. Okay. So Danny is bringing in the reinforcements from Michigan so that she can they somehow somehow Natalia's gonna find out about this and be pissed. Because Danielle's as gonna we tell her. Saw. Because Danielle's mm -hmm. gonna tell her, that's why. Mm. Yep. Yes, she was trying to kiss Natalia. She don't want to be alone. She don't want to be alone. The necklace was so ugly. Oh my god. <gasps> Maybe it is. It has a tracking device in it. Tracy, you're a mess. Too bad my sister wife closet went out of business in 2019. They could sell that over there. Oh, Robin's still selling her mess on eBay. I bet you anything, but just under somebody else's name because ain't nobody gonna buy from her. Uh, Danielle wants more than a sister. Mm. Yep. Danielle wants to sample that product. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Hallucination equals God. That's according to Rodney. Okay. Jamal, does that help yeah. you? I know Pretty it helped much. me. Thank you, Rodney. Garrett thinks he's on The Bachelor with those limp drugs. <laughs> Oh my God, that jewelry was so ugly. Bobby Brown. Oh, sorry. Robin Brown makes uh, better designs for my sister. No, she doesn't. Mm -mm. Ryan, you know they're about the same thing. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Thank you for Mata. Um, love how he makes up shit to sound spiritual. He put a ring on it. So now mm -hmm. boom, chicka, wow, wow. Equal marriage. Yep. Because it has changed. It has changed. The 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 requirements for intimacy. They change by the episode, by the season, by the by the woman. They change. They change. It's just nastiness. Um, the price to get into the states. Yep. And remember, you heard him say that once he goes back to the states. He is going to be making plans to head down to Brazil to spend yep. time with Natalia to get to know her without the dragon overlooking his shoulder. Mm. Thank you, Ryan. This scene was creepy. Why Danny had full makeup on to give her husband to another woman? Because she's desperately trying to be um to make him be attracted to her, and he doesn't want her anymore. Daniel loves um, options, her options. Oh, Lord. Daniel doesn't want Garrick to waste that money on another K1, K9 visa. Oh. Okay. Hi, Dustin. This was a whole mess. A whole mess. But this season is giving. The, despite some of the lame ducks in there, like we could always count on the Mary Fields for nonsense and for crying. True. Um, but I didn't think it'd be this good. Danielle and Danielle's actually showing up pregnant in the talking heads. Did you see her in that green smocking dress? But Natalia is a smart and pretty woman. I'm sure she can find someone else to get to the, the States. Real love. Um, but does Natalia want real love? Who says she don't already got real love right down there in the Brazil? Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know. I don't know. And who's to say that, you know, she gets up here. And she stays with them. She gets her mother up and then she hits the road. I don't know. 
where was Danielle in a green dress? In the confessional, right? Wasn't it confessional? Was it green or was it blue? Sorry. I, I think I it might have been blue. Person. Sorry. That might have been me. Sorry. Yeah, it, it was a, a blue dress with um we call it smocking, but it's elasticized stitching, needlework at the top. And then her belly's there, and it almost looks like terry cloth. It's a very weird dress. It's blue. Okay. Sorry if I said it was green. Green's my favorite color, but yeah, blue. Um, but yes, yeah, she looks pregnant. And I still think that that baby is a way to like hold Garrett to her mm -hmm. financially. Agreed. Financially, she holds her belly, but the belly you have to hold the belly because it's like huge. It's huge. Anyway, y'all, that's the end of the episode. Seeking Sister Wife, season five, episode six, seeking commitment. All of these people need to be committed to some sort of mental facility for evaluations. Or we need to be committed because we watch it. Yes. And How yes. old is their oldest son? They're in their teens. Mm -hmm. They're in their teens. The, the oldest one should be going to college in a couple of years. Like she's but running I late. Oldest, I, I think the oldest is 16. Oh boy. I think 16 now. Because remember, wasn't he like 13 mm -hmm. when they joined the show? 12, 13 ish? Something like that. Yeah. The league. Yeah, I, I heard about that. People oh. are not happy. That's private. And she's being, in, uh, allegedly, she's being sued again. That's hurtful as well. Why yeah. would you do that? Because she's a hurtful person. Look, on this channel, like Jamal and I talked about it. We decided we were not going to jump on the bandwagon and talk about that unfortunate situation for the Brown family. We put up a condolence on our community tab, and that was it. I don't understand why people have to be so intrusive and so invasive at such a a hurtful time. I don't know if it's because of my, my recent experience, but I, they ask for privacy, give it to them. But this is what she does though. I'm quite familiar with her. It's not right. No, no, we, you know, the people are outraged and allegedly, uh, I'm not sure if you guys watch tough topic, but let me see, let me see real quick if she, if Brittany, if there's a video, I only heard about it. I haven't been keeping up. We gotta try to avoid that just for the fact of the situation. Uh, Brittany Let me see if I can find this out for you, um, Ryan. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, uh, Brittany did release a video from three days ago. I'm pretty sure it's talking about um, uh, Katie, without Chris of all, Katie Joy Paulson. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Sorry, yeah. There are 14 episodes in season five. So we, I, I'm pretty sure this is the video that she's talking about Katie Joy. Because uh, from what I understand, um, you know, Brittany, tough, okay, when I say Brittany, the tough topic, her name's Brittany. And uh, she spoke to someone in the family. And mm -hmm. apparently they're sending her, uh, without Crystal Ball, a cease and desist. Uh, they should ask YouTube to of, take that down, though. They should have asked YouTube you to take it you down. You can't because... Um, the text were received via FOIA request. Mm. So, which means technically they're, they're, they're access to the public. Damn. Yeah, even on my I would, personal channel, I, would I don't talk about this. I, I like when people do things like that that I personally don't agree with on YouTube, <sighs> I unsubscribe from them. I'm not going to be a part and party to, to behavior like that. 
No, but this is this is like I said, this is who she is. This is what she's uh, she's done it for years. Um she could be and, yeah. she could be all she want to be all on her channel by herself, talking to herself. But she she released she released DV audio a couple years ago. After, after she said she wouldn't do it. After this is after she tried to sell said audio to TMZ. Oh my god. Yeah. Well look. That's that's her channel. She could do with it what she wants. Right. But mm -hmm. I, like I said, I've unsubscribed from channels when they deviate, change course, and it doesn't line up with where I my moral compass is. There exactly. you go. A whole you word to. salad to say, I don't fuck with that. Exactly. <laughs> Cause I knew I had a feeling she was gonna do something like this. I'm like, this is just who you are. And like, yep, right on cue. Isn't she in a lawsuit with um 7M? Yes, she is. No, with the guy who's in jail. Um, oh, Todd Chrisley? Yeah. I think I can't remember if they settled or came to some sort of agreement, but I know she's still in um a litigation with 7M. Who's 7M? Uh they're a company, uh business, whatever. But yeah, she she defamed them horrifically um, on on tape, in text. They have it all. They're not backing down, and they're suing. They're suing her for a cool million. Seven M is it like three M? Do they do post its? No, they're like um. They have a church. They have it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a it's a company. Um, mm. she's accusing them of being a cult. Uh, a whole lot of things. Um, that. She and she lied, said she didn't say those things, but then they brought the receipts, and yeah, that's why they're still in litigation right now. Child, I can't. Um, do you think the baby boom news comes out before the season ends? Seeking sister wife, yeah, and here's why I say that because we know about it, right? We know about it, so oh, thank you, and that's the only reason why. I think she kept it quiet so that it would come out during the season to hype up the season. Um, same thing with 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 Angela and and Michael. I just find it really. Str I think they've been edited out of the ninety day fiance happily ever after that they were supposed to be on. Because how are you going to be showing happily ever after? And your husband ran away mm -hmm. and made certain claims against you as to why he doesn't want to return. I think TLC is, is covering their ass and they are taking her out. And I also think they while they're they're cutting down happily ever after and, and editing that couple out, I think I don't think that the um what is it that's doing the tell-all right now on Monday night? Single Life. Five-part tell-all. I wish. No. They recut that to drag it out to make up for the shortfall on the other one. How much you want to bet? I wouldn't be shocked, but nothing deserves five parts. I don't care. Wow. Wow. Okay. They having a five part reunion, and it, how many how many episodes was in that season? Eight. Okay. Each each episode gets its own <laughs> part. It's just ridiculous. I saw that, and he almost dropped her. Sunway, I saw it on somebody else's channel. He almost dropped her. Um. All I can say is don't go out, get drunk, and then try to do the dirty dancing. Don't put baby in a corner dance. I'm sorry. Just don't. Mm -mm -mm. But that's it, y'all. We have nothing else to say about this or any other show until tomorrow where we have the grand finale of <laughs> <Love> <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Why is Single Life five episodes? None of those people are that interesting. And they got Debbie and Caesar and Zarper on there to fill airtime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was going to be five 
a five-parter. I didn't realize that. But that's telling me that they're making up for ad time because they're doing massive editing. I don't know. I'm yet to watch the last episode of Maths. I got mad with Jono and Ellie behavior at the dinner party. Watch the last couch session. Um, it's interesting. I think you'll get even madder with the part with Cassandra. But tune in tomorrow, Farmada. Come join us tomorrow. Play around with us. Bring your notes. We'll talk about it then. Guys, it's been great today. We really appreciate all of the new subscribers that we got for this show. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, and tomorrow, let's look cute and celebrate the finale of Maths Australia. All right. Um, let's see. Because all their cast members are problematic. Clout chase. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Have you start the day drinking yet, Debbie? Can't wait to see you see the replay with you and Heidi. <laughs> I will start. Have I started anything yet? No, but I'm behind. And tonight on Heidi's show, there's special guests, so I have to be on on semi decent behavior. So I'm gonna start day drinking soon. I've been trying to think about what to drink. I'm so confused. And in the end, I'm going to wind up with a Guinness and some grapes. Old reliable. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder what 90 Day Fiance ratings are looking like now because the series has jumped ship. I don't know. I don't track those, but there's a website that you can go to to get the ratings. Um, it'll take like a day or two. But they'll give you the ratings for the show. The live show from the the network. It doesn't include streaming or anything like that. Um, which is a shame because I think a lot of people watch these shows after the fact on streaming and stuff like that. So, right. You know. But anyway, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Day drink if you are day drinking, but do it responsibly. No driving. Um, Jamal, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. You too. All right, guys. All right, y'all. Right, Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.